So the first card that's coming up is the health card. You've got the sun here in Virgo here. So there might, might you might be dealing with some health issues um, or you might need to go and, um, you know, consult a physician or somebody um, with regards to health. So just make sure that you are uh, doing a proper health check and looking after yourself. Below it, you've got the practicality card over here. So working very, very hard. And maybe this is cause stress-related illnesses as well. Because, you know, Virgo uh, generally is the sign that is associated with a lot of stress and a lot of anxiety. And, uh, you know, this leads, this tends to lead to stress-related illnesses. So because you've got the moon sitting here in Capricorn over here, so this main focus in your life at this particular moment is about this work being tied to it. You can see all these people are working very, very hard in this card, trying to get things done. So you could be working in a team, but it seems to be where your focus is. Your focus seems to be um, on your work, on your job at this particular moment. Uh, crowning it, you've got uh, the affair card. So there could be a new love interest that has come in over here. You've got Venus here in uh, Leo. Now this could also be, although it talks about affair in it, because the Venus is sitting in Leo, and Leo is a card about self. It's about the ego. Um, this could be you, you know, um, finding out things that you like about yourself. Uh, things, you know, maybe this person that you're seeing makes you like things about yourself or makes you feel good about yourself. But um, altogether, you know, you, you've got this better, you know, this opinion about yourself that, it, that you're, um, you know, much better than you thought you were. And, uh, you know, you're feeling really good about yourself at this particular moment with this affair card. So it could well be that you're involved in an affair with somebody who's making you feel really good about yourself, or it could be just that you're now starting to see that you know you've got a lot of good assets uh, that you can put out to the world. Now, in the past, you've got the ostentation card over here. So this is all about money and working and trying to get. Uh, you know, finances coming in. This is Saturn sitting in uh, Taurus. So you've been focusing on your personal finances and whatever work you've been doing is, you know, trying to, to rope in that money, trying to get that money, uh, you know, working on that cash cow, if you like to bring that money in, especially with this uh, Saturn sitting in um uh, Taurus. There may have been also some restriction on your finances as well, because Ka Saturn is the card of restriction. Uh, so there might be a, a lot of difficulties, you know, with your money as well. Uh, so you're trying to work to get that money, but working very hard, but also with financial restrictions as well going on. There's another card with Saturn over here with the concentration card. So, you know, you're trying to get your energies and your attention focused on, on your work. Um, concentration, uh, you've got the um, Gemini here and Saturn sitting in Gemini here. Now, like I said, you're trying to rope in all your uh, distractions and you're trying to focus your energies on that work. Um, and maybe there's a lot of communication going on as well. Maybe there's a little bit of difficulties in communication. You've got a lot of swords going on over there with Saturn. So maybe you're getting a, you know, if you're having problems sending out maybe emails or even communicating with people. Uh, and, uh, you know, maybe there's difficulties and there's a lot of arguments as well that are coming on uh, with this concentration card. Maybe you want to say something as well uh, and you're not being able to say it because Saturn restricts that uh, ability to communicate the message effectively uh, across. So you might be having some problems or difficulties in communications, or you might be experiencing a lot of arguments at the moment. So going into the future, you've got the optimism card, which is the moon in Sagittarius. This is trying to expand your horizons, uh, trying to broaden your prospects. Now with the moon, it's a, it's a card, it's a sign usually of travel. So, and Sagittarius is usually a, a sign of travel. So there could be a journey coming up for you. You've got these two horses over here. So you could be planning on taking some kind of uh, journey. There could be also, you know, a lot of socialization going on. Uh, around you. You might be meeting a lot of people and that's coming into the future. So, you know, getting yourself out there and putting yourself out there is coming in for you. Then you've got the discovery card of year, which is 
uh, Mercury sitting in Sagittarius. So this looks like you are going to be taking some kind of trip. It might be a business trip as well because you've got Mercury there and Mercury is about um, you know communication. It's about um, business. It's about finance, um, you know, and it's also about learning. So it looks like there's some travel coming up. You've got the world over here. Uh, you've got foreign countries, travel to foreign countries, exploring um, your horizons, going over sea, going over water, socializing a lot. So there looks like some travel coming in uh, and maybe a business trip coming in and a lot of socialization and a lot of learning as well going on with this trip. So something to do with, uh, with travel coming in for you. So those are the energies for that week. Make sure that you watch your health and, you know, get it checked out if you're worried about anything. So I'm going to be using the Game of Thrones tarot. I have done a deck review on this deck and I will put it uh, at the end, uh, link it at the end of the video so you can watch the deck review as well. So you've got the Nine of Cups over here and this is a card of about satisfaction. This is also, in this deck, it looks like it's a card about learning and research because this man's sitting in the library and, you know, he's got all these books and information and knowledge available for him to read. The Cups cards are usually also about study and education. Uh, you know, Cups is about uh, furthering your mind as well as, um, you know, your emotions. So it looks like you might be involved in some kind of further study or some kind of research. Uh, on the other hand, it looks like, you know, whatever you've been hoping for, you have been doing a lot of research and you are now reaching a point where you are achieving the goals that you want. So you are going for something at the moment and, you know, spending a lot of time by yourself as well, doing this research, doing this, um, uh, you know, um, the study to try and get yourself ahead. And it looks like it will be successful. Now you've got the Ten of Spears over here and the King of Spears. So it looks like with the Ten of Spears, you know, it's always about the burdens that you carry. So, you know, uh, you are taking on too many responsibilities. Uh, and this in itself can cause a lot of stress with the responsibilities that you're taking on. So while you're achieving success here with this uh, Nine of Cups, you know, you've taken on a lot more responsibilities than you need to actually take on. And this is even blocking your visions because you can see this man can barely see in front of him as he's walking. So it's preventing you from making future plans. It's preventing on you from actually moving forward. You're being stuck with these burdens and responsibilities of the now rather than actually focusing on what you want to do for yourself in the future. You've got the King of Spears over here. And this could be well that you're dealing with a um, fire sign person where the King of Spears is the King of Rods. And it's usually, uh, you know, somebody who is a businessman, somebody who's very aggressive, somebody that you're having to, uh, maybe you're butting heads with this person. Now, this person could be the person that you're working for that's giving you all these responsibilities. Because uh, this is somebody that's in charge, somebody that, you know, takes control, somebody who's very authoritative and somebody who just tends to pass the buck on to some, you know, whoever is working for him. They, This person doesn't really have uh, much of a conscience. Um, you know, they're not going to be worried how you get it done as long as you get it done. So whoever this person is that you're working for is giving you a lot of responsibilities and burdens. And, uh, you know, they don't really seem to care because this card is crossing this ten of spheres. So this seems to be the person that's giving you all these responsibilities and burdens and making you work so hard. Um, you know, not allowing you to actually um, come up for air. In the past, you've got the Queen of Cups. So you were feeling really miserable, depressed, lonely, isolated, not supported. Uh, you know, this is... Uh, Maybe it also been praying a lot. You can see this woman's praying for some kind of revelation to come in here for her. So, you know, you are feeling a bit emotional as well. And this has been going on in the last year. You're feeling very lonely. You've got the emperor over here. So whoever you're working for, and this is probably this person, this king of spears, because the emperor is also, this is a card ruled by Mars. And this is, you know, card ruled by fire. Uh, this is uh, somebody who is a bit of a bully, who is very manipulative um, and who, um, you know, wants you to do things. So uh, you can't question their rulership. Um, the king, the emperor card is also uh, a card that deals with the law 
and it deals with legal circumstances or legal decisions or judgments that are being made. So you could have been uh, involved in some kind of legal battle and a judgment was passed. Um, or you could be working with somebody uh, in the last few months who is very, very dominating or dominant and very, very bossy and bullies you around. Uh, somebody of an authority figure who uh, is not listening to any of the problems that you're going through, really. They, they don't have any empathy. And they could be, you know, they could cause a lot of problems as well. It could be a very difficult situation to be in. You've got the six of coins over here. So it seems like you are having some kind of financial problems over here. Uh, you know, you are um, hoping that money comes in. This is what's on your mind right now. And you are worried about your spending. You're trying to keep things balanced. What the six of coins is, you know, waiting for some kind of payout as well. So there might be some kind of legal decision or some kind of, you know, being passed and you're waiting for some financial uh, payout to come for that, some kind of settlement to come in for that. You are expecting some kind of money to come in with the six of coins. With the page of cups here, there's an offer coming in for you soon. You can see this man's putting out an offer. So this could be an offer of a job or it can be an offer for further study. This could be also an invitation if it's on the um, emotional basis or romantic basis, this could be an invitation for you to go out with somebody, uh, you know, for a relationship. But there's certainly some kind of news coming in, uh, some kind of written news, um, something uh, that presents you with some, you can see there's a fish there. So he's presenting the fish. It's presenting you with that kind of offer. It's, it's an extraordinary offer, rather. It's something that you didn't expect because nobody would expect this fish to jump out of this cup. So it's some kind of offer that you haven't expected. It's going to be quite surprising and it seems to be um, somebody presenting it to you. So it could be a new jo job offer, it could be an offer for study, or it could be even a new social invitation coming in for you. Now you've got the page of swords over here. So it seems like you are waiting for some kind of news, uh, for a you know, some kind of legal news to come in. With the page of swords, it generally deals with legal matters or legal news coming in. Uh, you could also be dealing with people around you or somebody around you that's a bit, um, you know, somebody that doesn't, is not trustworthy. <laughs> Let me put it that way. So somebody who's lying, cheating, carrying tales, uh, a very uh, um, troublesome person, uh, with this page of swords, because there's somebody who's young or somebody who, um, you know, uh, is not uh, someone you can trust. You could be dealing with that kind of energy as well going on around you. But for, you know, for the most part, this uh, page of swords generally deals with some kind of legal decision or some kind of legal news that is coming in for you soon. Now, you've got the eight of swords over here. You are feeling very restricted, very tied up. That situation that you are in, not only is it causing you to have a lot of burdens, it's preventing you from doing anything. Uh, you know, you seem to be tied up in that situation. She's surrounded by these swords and it seems like, you know, she can't make any kind of move whatsoever. It's very, very bound up, very, very uh, restricted kind of movement. So it seems all the circumstances that are going on around you or whatever situation you're in is very restrictive and it's not allowing you to act independently. Maybe this person, the emperor, is, you know, very much a bully or even this king of... Uh, Spears might be someone who's a bully, who's not allowing you to make decisions or not allowing you to act independently. And the outside circumstances, whatever is going on around you, has prevented you from actually uh, moving forward and it's preventing you from doing anything at the moment. So you seem to be just stuck in one place or focused on one thing at the moment. You want a new job through the Ace of Coins. So it looks like you're looking, you, you're planning to make a move or you're planning uh, you know, to leave this particular situation because you want something brand new to come in. You want new money to come in. Especially since you, you know, you've been having a little bit of problems uh, with money, managing even that money, whatever's going out might be much more than that's coming in and that's worrying you. So you've got the four of coins and the nine of coins and the judgment card. So the four of coins is hanging into, onto your money very uh, tightly. It's also, um, you know, you've got a lot of money worries. You're watching those pennies. Uh, you're trying to be very frugal with this four of coins. So you're just trying not to just spend anything and trying to spend on the bare minimum. Uh, so it's about, you know, trying to keep that money 
uh, to you, trying to hold on to that money very tightly. Now, what's coming in is the nine of coins. So it looks like, you know, something brand new is coming in that's going to give you that financial independence. So it looks like this might well be a new job of coming in that pays in a lot of money and that gives you that financial independence. That means that you'll be able to, um, you know, uh, pay for things and be comfortable. So this is a card showing comfort and abundance and it's showing independence as well. So whatever new job offer seems to be coming in for you, uh, it looks like it's going to be uh, something that pays pretty well. And you've got the judgment card following in it. So this is usually a card of success after going through a lot of hardship and making a change. The judgment card is being caught, you being caught to make a decision to move on from the past, leave on, leave and maybe leave that old job behind and walk away from it. There might be some kind of offer coming in for you, um, maybe to go back to an old job or go back to something that you haven't finished in the past. So there might be, you know, revisiting an old job that you haven't done before or meeting somebody from the past that directs you um, into a, a, a new um, work situation where you can get better pay and, uh, you know, um, more money, really, uh, a better job. So somebody coming in maybe, and you know, you've gone through a lot of hardship with the judgment card has gone through a lot of problems. It's, it's a very karmic card and it's, ca you're calling you to change direction, to make a different, uh, make a decision uh, to move in a different direction so that you can get that financial independence and not worry so much about money. So there's a big decision coming up for you, a big change of in life and uh, a need for, for you to leave the past behind and move forward. So I'm going to just draw some cards from the animal uh, tarot. And this is for the oracle reed. So you've got the Ace of Spring over here, which says uh, a wonderful new opportunity presents itself and it may come as a surprise, uh, but you'll still have to leap into action and passionately pursue every possibility. Like I told you, the Page of Cups, this man's presenting this offer and there's the fish in the cup, which is a surprise. Uh, so this, it looks like there's a new cycle beginning over here. Somebody is going to be showing you the way you've got this... Um, um, lion and her cub over or the tiger and her cub here uh, so somebody um, maybe older than you or somebody you've worked with in the past um, somebody you've known in the past because you have got that judgment card over there somebody from the past re-emerging to show you the way and start a brand new cycle so there's this new opportunity coming in and you need to grab it with both hands really uh, you've got the life experience card over here so important changes are coming into your life that will require you to take action don't hesitate to move in new directions you know that is right for you so with the life experience card is asking you to move in the direction a new opportunity coming as well and you need to act with both these cards this ace of spring a need for action and this life experience card a need for action You've got the Emperor card over here. So structure, organization are important right now. Don't be afraid to take a leadership role as you have much wisdom to offer. So it looks like whatever this new job opportunity is, it's going to be in the leadership role capacity. So something better. And like I said, it's going to give you much more financial independence uh, and it's going to be pay, you know, a better paid job. So something brand new coming in for you on the work front over here. And it says you need to take action. You need to spring into action and, uh, you know, follow um, your dreams, really. And you need to change direction as well with this judgment card. So this looks really positive and, you know, it's an opportunity that you should not miss. It might be an opportunity that will involve further research, further study, because you've got that Nine of Cups over here. But it's also wish fulfillment. Uh, so something that you've been waiting for for a long time. You can see this man sitting and waiting. So whatever is coming over here, you've been waiting for it for a long time. And it looks like it's about to enter into your arena right now. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you and please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.